Hello everyone, this is GamerCat09, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight. It's been a little while since we played this, and um, I kind of stopped because of the holidays and everything, finally getting back into it, but uh, kind of had a bad moment the last run of this game. I completed so much. I think we're in the attic. I think I think that's the proper way to refer this, is the attic. And uh, made a lot of progress, met up with Selena, she killed most of the ghosts, and then I made the biggest mistake of trying to return back to this room to save, and I was killed. So, my retries, I think I tried four additional times, I- OH GOD! Shit! I didn't think it would just do that. Okay, that's new. Um, so yeah. Every time I try to, uh, come back to this point, well, every time I try to complete what I just did, rather, it did not work out very well. So, okay, that's where I came from. Where the fuck am I going? Here? I think here. Pretty sure it was here. Maybe? Yeah. Because this was... Okay. So we're going to try to do it all again. So I'm going to try... Oh, God. I'm just going to skip through these. Because I have already checked them out and read everything. But I just... I didn't save it. So I just want the game to make sure that it counted. You know what I mean? So, uh... We're going to just casually walk around this ghost. Hopefully not disturb her. She's pretty freaking close. But I think as long as we don't run directly into her, we should be okay. So we should be able to get this behind her. Yes. Okay. No further will we go. We will just go into this door. Then she starts moving, so I don't want to come back to this room anytime soon. Because of Ghost. So, what we have, what what the whole purpose of this is, is to get the stupid gramophone. And, uh... <laughs> ah! Ah! Okay, I was expecting that. Okay. Okay, fine. Oh, God, Selena! 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 Fucking... Oh, God. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die brutally. I'm gonna die brutally. I don't want this to happen to me. Oh, shit. This game is so fucking random. I hate it. <laughs> Where the fuck did you come from? What a terrible start. Oh my god. Okay. Let's try this again. Holy fuck. Okay. So we're gonna try to go through all this again. What is this? What? What? Okay, that's just the book thing. Cool. Alright. So, we gotta go this way. Which means I gotta do all of this again. If this gets tedious, I'm gonna start cutting a lot of this crap out. Because we don't need to have everyone watch me fail nine million times. This part is so hard. There's so many ghosts. They're everywhere. And I have to get around them all with without really knowing where they are because they constantly move and it makes it extremely difficult I'm already on edge and I just started this freaking game I my hands are sweating like yeah so let's try to grab that real quick okay Cooper please don't try to chew my wire I, I really highly appreciate it if you don't do that okay so I'm not going over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to just kind of go in this direction. Oh, God. Selena. You're distracting me, Selena. Yeah, I know we need the gramophone thing. I know. Okay. Cool. Let's try not... Okay, there's a ghost right in front of me over there. I'm not doing that. Okay. Where am I? Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Okay, keep going. We're okay. We're okay. There's a ghost right there. I'm not gonna disturb her! Oh god, there's a ghost hanging! 
Oh god! So many! Oh lord! Oh fucking! Ah! Okay, that was not the right way to go. I did this all! Why was it so much easier the first time when I had no idea what I was doing? Ah, oh, fuck you. See how it's all just completely random? It's all completely random. I hate it. I hate the right Like, it's cool. Like, n by no means do I mean, wow, this sucks, this game is awful in randomness. I mean, like, it's so well-made and unpredictable, it makes it good, but it also makes it difficult, if that makes any sense. So, all right, do this all again. Oh, the shoe. Oh, shoe, 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 and this. Oh god, I fucking hate it when it starts shaking because the controller shakes and the heartbeat makes me nervous. It makes mine go kind of all panicky. So yeah, alright, let's try this again. Let's check the stupid freaking gramophone because it wants me to. Oh god. Ghost right in front of me. Ghost right in front of me. Ghost right in front of me. I don't care, Selena. I don't care, Selena. I'm sorry, but I do not care, Selena. Okay, there's a ghost crawling around. Okay, the bed's over that way. Going around. Checking that. And then... Okay, the, there's a ghost hanging. Okay. I got the... Oh, God. Got the disc. The, the vinyl record. So I gotta make my way back now. And not try to run into any ghosts. This is gonna be the hard part. Okay, there's one in the wheelchair. Over the <laughs> okay! Ah, I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Put it in! Selena, kill everything that you touch in your wake while I, I grab this. Closer to Selena. Okay. To whatever this all meant. The time is of the essence. Okay, cool. Which? We were not alone. And I could feel the dark woman entering my mind. Oh, oh. As she was making progress, I was <sighs> losing hope I'd make it out alive. Shit! Don't leave me in the dark. Where are you? Do you love me? Ah! Yes, I do! I love the shit out of you. Now kill everything you touch, please. Oh, God. <sighs> Particularly kill that ghost over there sitting in the chair next to you, would you? Jump on her? No, you won't. You won't. You won't. You won't. God. Good. Kill that. I'm still following you. Please don't leave me. Where now? Okay. There's a crawling ghost you've yet to kill. Oh boy. Okay. Time to flip this bad boy. Okay. Grab that. I think I already read all of these, so... What I'm going to do... There is a ladder back here. I am just going to go up the ladder. No, I'm not. I guess I don't need to go up that ladder. Uh... I don't think I read this, so I'm going to read it. Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 6, 
January 4th, 1896. If I read this already, I apologize. After what happened this afternoon, Dad, Mother scolded me. She said I ruined her appointment with the deputy and the banker. She said that we would be even poorer than we already were and would all be my fault, that I provoked Dad, that I woke him up. I got angry, too, saying that after all, Father should be in the hospital. We don't have money for that, she yelled, and I yelled, too. Then let's throw him in the ocean and be done with it. She stared at me for a long time without thinking. I was shaking, but when she asked me if I realized what I just said, I suddenly felt very calm and answered, You want to save our family? Then do what has to be done. We have to think about those who will be coming after more than about those we love or about ourselves. Mother looked tired. She left without even wishing me good night. Jeez. Yeah, that's that's not a normal thing kids say to their parents. Oh, there's a ghost right there. Okay. Oh, for the love of God, there was a fucking thing right here the whole fucking time. Are you fucking serious? Ugh! Oh, I didn't even see this. How did I not see this? So I redid everything like four times for no reason. Okay. Well, at least now if I die, I'll respawn there. And that'll be cool. Okay, so that just has moths in it. Okay, so now I feel a little better. Cooper, you're like on my lap in my way. I love you, babe, but kind of can't do that with me. Don't chew my wire or pull my cord. <laughs> oh god. These violent paintings signed by Margaret were hidden here. Okay, so the thing is still under the bed. And there's one hanging. Alright, I gotta go over here first. Not here. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, here. Actually. Oh, God! Yeah, let's do that. I want to go over here. And kill that. Cool! Awesome. Alright. So there's a door here. Okay. The record is done, I guess. I'm gonna go save again real quick. So all that lovely, lovely progress. And then we'll go through that door, because why not? Okay. So I didn't have to run back into that one room at all. So if I just did this the first time around, I wouldn't have died. Alright, so let's... Oh, oh. Okay. So let's see what's in here. Ghost? Ooh. Oh! Wait. Is this a new... Finding this map at the attic happened at the right time. What? What? The plan of the attic brought me some relief. In the dark, the slightest help was more than welcome. Oh, this is like a... Okay. Where is this? William Vesper's Diary, Excerpt 5, May 12th, 1928. She who receives the light of the sun in order to survive in a never-ending night is like us. But she looks even lonelier when she watches us from her dark seat. Luna, magnificent Mercury, redemptive voice from the void, you are the motherly hand on the child's cheek, the matrix lake where the water of the sun lies. Like a woman, you can be empty around, and your fecundity? Fecundity? I don't even know how to pronounce that word. Fecundity? I'll say that. Is the rhythm of time. Through you are decided the level of the oceans, the success of fishing, the depth of our sleep. You are entitled to blood, for you are blessed among all. You are the spouse that no blood ever defiles. I am your devoted son. 
or whatever you want me to be. I still can't tell if he's actually talking about the moon or not. I'm going to say he is talking about the moon. Um, what's this? These symbols apparently protected the skylight, which was blocked on the other side. Oh, Lord. Okay. The esoteric symbols scattered around the house weren't just there for decorative purpose. I feared to understand their meaning, knowing I had no other choice. Yeah, pretty much the only way out, huh? Okay. What else is in here? Is that a dildo? What is this? The Egyptian statuette belonged in a museum. Oh! Margaret's face felt like a recurrent taunting. That drawing reminded me of the skylight and its symbols. No description or anything? Okay! Cool! Picture! White disc over the infinite, infinite well of light piercing the shadows, the eye, the egg, the circle. And Cthulhu. What kind of person would rather look at a graveyard than watch the stars? A crazy person. Um, seriously, how big is this fucking attic? Oh. Picture was taken in the very same room I was standing in. Oh. Okay. That was the ground floor. The marks were leading below the stairs. Oh, shit. There better not be pop-ups. That door, there was something there. Selena's calls for help were scattered all over the mansion. She was following a goal. An obsession. This part of her life she was playing in front of me. And what about me? Spending so much time in the darkness. I was losing my light. But luckily, I had a star to guide me. I didn't know that room, but it smelt like blood. How could you smell? You're watching a video. Okay. So what was this that was... The pictures of that victim's agony were recorded in a room I had yet to visit. It looked like a cellar. I remembered that door from the ground floor. <sighs> you know, I hate cellars. And I hate attics. These sacred butterflies were not the only dead things here. Why am I so fortunate enough to experience this shit? Oh, is that a picture right there? Oh god. Thought I recognized a statuette of Osiris worn by time. Okay. So basically... There's a window that's blocked, I guess. On the other side? Yeah. So... This crate traveled all the way from China only to end up here. So now I will take these. Because why not? Okay, so I got that map attic the attic the map of the attic rather let's try to make a break for it over here I'm just gonna frequently save my game cause I don't want any of that crap to happen again oh hell no and at least this way if I try to make more progress and die I tried. Because I believe that crawling ghost is still lingering around. There's the one under the bed, and there's a hanging one, and there's, I think there's- Oh yeah! 
Yeah, yeah, it's what I thought, bitch. Okay. Let's try to go this way. Because I don't remember if I picked everything up here or not. Oh, there's a light. Sweet. Closed. I had no time to try to open it. Oh, there's a ghost sitting over there. From Selena to William, Exert 8. Uh, I don't remember if I read this, but I'll read it again. I apologize if I did. The next evening, we have, we have an argument again. When I begin pack, packing up, Jim pushes me against a wall. I remember the shock. I'll keep the mark of his fingers around my wrist for weeks. After that, he comes back to his senses and prepares a tea. As if, oh, yeah, I did read this. This sounds really familiar. Yeah, he heard her. Okay. Sorry, forgot. Okay. So, put this out. Move this. Light a match. Open the door. Walk inside. Yo, oh, this is the other save room. So this was the shortcut the entire time I could have also got back in here. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. So ridiculous. I can't believe the simplicity of this game's design and how dumb I am. Like, really? Okay, that way has a ghost. I'm not going that way. I'll go back out here. Just cut right across. Pretend like it never happened. Okay, so there is... A ghost over there that I will not try to disturb but I will try to read this from Selena to William excerpt 7 it takes me weeks to realize what is about to happen I am going to be a mother it happened so fast I want to tell my parents so bad Jim seems so surprised when he learns the news that he makes me laugh for me a child can only be a blessing but life is not a fairy tale. Jim becomes colder every day. He starts coming back home late. He looks at me with an embarrassed look. He refuses to touch me and often leaves, telling me business is bad and he has to work. About two weeks later, he tells me we can't keep the baby, as if it is a broken furniture. We can, as if it is broken furniture we can throw away. I tell him that maybe we can't, but I can. He refuses. He wants me, but not the child. I cry. I scream. I say I'm leaving. New York is over for me. Those few words are the worst mistake of my life. Yep. And that's how you got hurt. And you have an abusive fucking husband, boyfriend. A parcel from Egypt with some brown grains. Desert sand. Oh lord, I see you over there. I, oh god. Wah! I saw that. What's this? Margaret's Diary, Excerpt 3, January 4th, 1896. Today was horrible. I couldn't stop crying. I feel so sick. I puked many times and I'm so cold. Even the tea Sarah brought me didn't manage to bring some warmth. It began early in the afternoon. I was painting when he started yelling. Everyone in the garden to welcome... Oh, everyone... How did I mess that up? Everyone was in the garden to welcome a banker coming to negotiate our debt. Mother had insisted that we gave Dad this French medicine to make him sleep, to keep him quiet, but he started yelling. He had never yelled like that. My heart stopped beating. I couldn't breathe any more. I prayed that he would stop. If Mr. Coldbridge heard him, it would be terrible. Nobody went to make him stop. This was too important. So I did for my family. I went to his room. I shouldn't have. Oof. Jeez. This keeps getting better and better and better. Oh, so better. Oh, so better. Let's save again. I feel like there has to be something else to do up here. There's a ladder back there for crying out loud. There's got to be something to do with the ladder. At least I saved. So. Let's see. Can't go up the ladder. 
Uh, I already read it. I have no idea who I startled, but I startled somebody. And I think it was mainly me. I already read that. Oh lord. It was really hard to see me for a second. That was mildly scary. Um, so... Alright, there's something I'm missing. Something very important I'm missing. I'm going to take the rest of those. And... I need... To do... Okay. Not that. Not her. Leave her alone. Let her be... Whatever the fuck she wants to be. I've read this already. Yes. Shit. Fucking matches. Alright. Okay, there's a ghost right there. She's not very happy. Oh, there's a light! Okay. Alright. Cool. So... What does this do? I turn this on. What does this do? It killed her. Was she guarding something? Seeing the rope, I choked. Death is contagious. Oh, I got a trophy for looking at the rope. Cool. The painting by Margaret shows an animal twisted by pain. Okay, so the thing is still on in the other room. I'll just save again since my thing went out. Look at that ghost just tweaking out, running around. My god. Okay. So, I think I know what I have to do. There is. Alright, I'm gonna go this way. Oop. There is. Go in here. I know there's a light switch in one of the rooms. Oh. Or no. Not in here. I will take that. I have to make it back up to the front, actually, of, of this attic where I came from originally. Go that way. To the other light in here and go back here oh boy okay all right <sighs> I feel like I'm missing a bunch of stuff She made a lot of violent paintings. More matches. Always helpful. That's where I came from. There's no light here, right? No. Read that already. Oh! Okay, Jesus. Uh, I feel like there is a light. Oh my god. <laughs> Derp! 
Okay, let's let's save. Let's save. Because I'm going to go investigate the other room more where that ghost is. I just need to get to the other side where the uh the lights on. So I'm going to 